Hey everyone, welcome back to BDG Reviews. Um, back again with another episode of Sci-Fi Sunday. Uh, reviewing today is uh, Godzilla Raids again. This is uh, just continuing from last week. I'm planning to do all the Godzilla movies, so... Yeah. So... This is another interesting one, because like the first Godzilla movie, there's a Japanese cut and there's an American cut. And what makes it really weird is the American cut is called Gigantus the Fire Monster. And it completely acts as if Godzilla, the first movie, doesn't exist. Like, this is some new creature and everything. It's kind of weird. The basic plot. Uh, after Godzilla died at the end of the first movie. Not really spoilers after, what, like 50 years or something. But, um, a new Godzilla appears, and it's fighting uh, another creature called Angerus. It's, uh, it's kind of this, like, spiky turtle thing, you know. Um, and the movie pretty much follows, uh, these two guys, um, Tsukioka and, uh, Kobayashi. They're, uh, they're pilots, and, uh... I can't, honestly, they, um, they look for schools of fish and stuff, for, like, fishermen and stuff. That's just kind of what they do, and they end up running into Godzilla and Angulus, or Angerus, however you want to pronounce it. Yeah, so, that's your basic plot. Follows, like, pretty much every other Godzilla movie. Um, Godzilla and Monster fight each other, um... Japan gets destroyed. Yeah. You know, Godzilla movies aren't, um... They're not uh, super intelligent. But they're fun. So, again, like with the first review, I'm going to break this into two parts. First thing, Godzilla Raids Again, the Japanese version. Uh, did it say who directed it? No, I, I can't remember who directed it, but it wasn't directed by um, Ishiro Honda. It was directed by someone else. That being said, though, it's still, a, at least in my mind, um, a superior Godzilla film. What I like about it is the fact, one, Godzilla's evil. I just really like Godzilla being the bad guy, you know? We're going to change that up in the next few reviews to where he becomes a good guy. But, you know, it, it just, I prefer him being a villain, honestly. I really do. It's got a lot of, how can I, how can I put this without being weird? Um, the effects are decent. They're not as top-notch as they were in the first one. Which is pretty strange, because I'm pretty sure it's the same uh, same effects crew and everything. But I think maybe they just had a lower budget or something. So, But it's not... Let's put it this way. It's not as good as the first Godzilla. But it's close. As for a rating for Godzilla Raids again, I have to give it a 9 out of 10. I really enjoy it, but it's not the classic that the original was. Now, moving on to Gigantus the Fire Monster. Um... This movie's an abomination. Honestly, I... I hate it. I hate it with a passion. I mean, it's it's horrible. It really is. Well, for one thing, the, the, the two main characters, Tsukioka and uh, Kobayashi, one of them, with the dub, they end up making him sound like a complete backwards, like, retarded hick. And, you know, that's not... His character. You know, his character was never that stupid. You know? And uh, it was a disservice to the movie. Also, the guy that did the the translation, if you will, when they made it Gigantus the Fire Monster, really seemed to like renaming stuff. He renamed, like, actors, you know, as really, you know, stupid names and everything. I, I don't know whether he just couldn't pronounce Japanese or what, but, you know, 
And, like, who the hell calls Godzilla, like, calls him Gigantus? Everyone knows it's Godzilla. Come on. You know, for Gigantus the Fire Monster, I give this movie, like, a 2 out of 10. I absolutely despise it. It's... It's an abomination. It really is. They essentially, they take out all this great footage that Toho direct, Toho created, and they put in stock footage. They put in some stock footage at one point that I'm pretty sure is from some, like, 1930s children's educational film about, like, how the world was created. And they put in scenes from other movies. Like, there's one that's, like, there's these, like, three... Tyrannosaurs walking along and they're they're so obviously guys in suits it's not even funny I mean it makes Godzilla look like like a masterpiece it really does because they're, they're they look like trash bags stretched to look like a dinosaur they're horrible but yeah as for this release this is of the is it uh, classic media I think did this one yeah classic media these releases were always pretty good. I got to admit, they were only on DVD, and uh, you know they were they were, they were pretty solid little releases. Um, has a commentary track with uh, Steve Rifle, Rifley, Rifle. I don't know, and and you know some other people. That's only on Gigantus the Fire Monster, which is a little annoying. I would have liked to have heard him on uh, Godzilla Raids again, but yeah, there we go. So as a, as a as a Japanese movie, Godzilla Raids again nine out of ten. The American Gigantus the Fire Monster two out of ten. Honestly, if you buy this release, don't even bother. Don't even bother with that version. It's not worth it. Honestly, I tell you what, I find the commentary more entertaining than that movie. So take that for what you will. Yeah. So nine out of ten for Godzilla Raids again. Two out of ten for Gigantus the Fire Monster. Yeah, I'll uh, try to find a trailer, put it below. I also got my merch shop and my Patreon down there if you feel like helping out the channel. would be appreciated. If not, that's fine too. Everything's all good that way. But yeah, uh, that's it for now. See you next time.